Hi children and viewers in previous class we discussed about the acceleration uniform acceleration so negative acceleration positive acceleration okay children up to now you didn't subscribe my channel so then subscribe channel for continuous let continuous and latest updates okay children so keep continue our relation with the videos by subscribing my channel so today's topic is children equations of motion equations of motion so what are the equations of motion at what condition they will work let us see so already i told you about the speed velocity acceleration displacement and distance so here there are some equations are there the equations which are used to explain motion of the objects motion of the object here in physics generally the body object all are the same here the body means here the body means nothing only not a body simple stone like that the body means here the entire train also taken as a body lorry also taken as body cycle also taken as body and person also taken as the body so here the body means anything clear the equations which are used to explain motion of the object motion of the object they are called equations of motion simply the equations which are used to explain the motion of the body they are called equations of motion they should be works or they should be valid when the body is moving with uniform acceleration uniform acceleration i detailed in detail i explained about the uniform acceleration in previous video then go and check it once clear so uniform acceleration means the body can covers equal change in velocities equal change in velocities in equal intervals of time then the body is said to be in uniform acceleration children now we are going to the topic equations of motion and their derivation clear generally here you have in your class four equations one is v is equals to u plus at next one is s is equals to u d plus of at square and third one is v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s and fourth one is yes n is equals to u plus a into n minus of these four equations are called equations of motion clear v is equals to u plus at and s is equals to u d plus of at square v square minus u square is equals to 2as and sn is equals to u plus a into n minus of these are the equations of motion in your examinations they will ask questions like that in s is equals to u d plus of a d square s is stands for dash in v square minus u square is equals to 2as in that equation a stands for dash that means every letter that can represent the one quantity so you must know about that that's why here in those equations i am writing here clearly v is equals to u plus at there in that v is the final velocity final velocity of the body and u is the initial velocity initial velocity and a is the acceleration a is acceleration and t means i think you know t is what time and next thing is s s is equals to what means distance travel distance travel or displacement travel distance travel by the body within the time of t clear already i told you what is u initial velocity what is t time what is a acceleration next thing is same already v final velocity u initial velocity a acceleration s displacement now 
Fourth one, S N. S N means distance travel. Distance travel in nth second. Nth seconds. Distance travel in nth second. And n is the number of seconds. Number of seconds. Chilang, see clear. You have to notice the difference between S and S N. S N S. Clear? You have to observe the difference here, children. Just one example. Here, this is a starting position, and now this is a ending position. A is there, and B is there. Clear? Total distance is here 50 meters. 50 meters. 50 meters. One boy is started. He is walking at this point A. So he will reach the B in 5 seconds. Clear. A boy is starting from point A and reaches the point B within the time of 5 seconds. 5 seconds. He travelled how much distance? 50. Clear. So here, how much time? 50 seconds. In 4 seconds, in 4 seconds at this position he was. After 4 seconds, he was at this position. He covered 40 meters. 40 meters. Clear. Be careful. He covered 40 meters in how many seconds? 4 seconds. 4 seconds. Then what is the distance covered by the person in last second? Total 5 seconds. Clear? In 4 seconds up to he covered 40 meters. In last 1 second? Last 1 second is what? This is. How much it is? 10 meters. Clear? Here now 10 meters. 10 meters is the distance covered in last second. Last second is what? Fifth second. Total time is 5 seconds. He covered 40 meters in 4 seconds. Clear. Last second is what? Fifth second. In that fifth second, he was covered 10 meters. Clear children. So now this in this example, 50 meters is the S. 50 meters is the S and 10 meters is the S N. I hope you are understanding. Again, I am explaining. So, it's very, very important problems. A person, a boy is starting is walking from A to B. There is some distance is how much? 50 meters. He covered the distance 50 meters in 5 seconds. 50 meters in 5 seconds. Clear children. So after 4 seconds, he is at the position C. At the position C. Then the time is 4 seconds completed. How much distance covered? 40 meters. In the last second, last second is what? 4 over. Next one is what? 5th. What is that? 5th second. So for 5th second, how much he covered? 10 meters. In 4 seconds, 40 meters. In last 1 second, 10 meters. So, this 10 is a distance travel in nth second. Distance travel in nth second. That is here, what is the example? 5th second, we are taken now. And this is what? Distance travel in the time t. So, 50 meters is the distance travel in the time t. t means what here? 5 seconds. Total time the distance covered in total time that is the s distance travel at particular one second that is what we call nth second clear distance travel at nth second so this is about the children equations of motion and their notations so these are called what we call equations of motion equations of motion in that these are the four equations when they can be valid when the body is moving with uniform acceleration only they are applicable clear children so in these derivations 
in these equations we have some symbols are there v means final velocity u is initial velocity a is acceleration t time s is the distance traveled by body in t seconds and sn is the distance traveled by body in nth second and n is the number of seconds in those equations in today's class we are going to derive these two equations so we have to derive these two equations now watch carefully these equations are very very important and for competitive exams also for I, these equations are very useful for iit level physics so that's why watch carefully first thing is derivation of v is equals to u plus a t derivation of v is equals to u plus a t clear children so first thing is i am taking the example here here one card is there the angle was started t is equals to t is equals to zero starting time is t is equals to zero i am saying that is t1 after some time now what I this is t2 clear the velocity at this point is what you say initial velocity u initial velocity is u and final velocity is v that means a vehicle is started a vehicle is in motion at the time t1 its velocity initial velocity is u and after some time its velocity becomes v for example our car only started with velocity some 20 meter per second after some time the velocity may be 100 meter per second so tell me here when the car is moving the velocity is increases when velocity increases there is some change in velocity change in velocity change in velocity what we call what we call acceleration that means when the body is in motion if there is any change in velocity of the body then it is what we call acceleration clear children so already we know that acceleration is equals to what do I write change in velocity change in velocity by time or time taken time taken so in this case I am writing acceleration is equals to change in velocity is what v is the final velocity and u is the initial velocity then change in velocity means what v minus u and time taken is here I am writing t1 minus t2 t1 minus t2 here we are taking t1 is equals to 0 and t2 is equals to t clear them acceleration is equals to change in velocity by time taken a is equals to v minus u by t1 minus t2 here v minus u what change in velocity then in that equation we can take t1 is equals to 0 and t2 is equals to t then what you write substitute there a is equals to v minus u by what rate right? this is sorry t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 so the what right t minus 0 then a is equals to v minus u by t so this is the formula for acceleration a is equals to v minus u by t from that formula what you write a is equals to v minus u by t that means what a t is equals to v minus u then v is equals to u plus a t v is equals to u plus a t that is the first e first derivation of the v is equals to u plus a t clear children we want to derive the first equation of motion v is equals to u plus a t for that situation what you have taken a car is initially moving with velocity u after some time its velocity becomes v u is the initial velocity and v is the final velocity clear children so after that what you have to say we know that acceleration is equal to change in velocity by time taken then what right a is equal to v minus v v minus u by t2 minus t1 here t1 is 0 t2 is equal to t we have to take t2 is equal to t then what right v minus u by t2 minus t1 t1 is the t and t1 is the 0 then what do we get a is equals to v minus u by t a is equals to v minus u by t and after that 
how to write a is equal to v minus u by t then a d is equal to v minus u then v is equal to u plus a t clear children so based on these two problems we have these two equations we have so many problems we have to go perform so i will tell you i will explain you problems later so here for example a is equal to v minus u by t simply was giving a car is initially moving with velocity 30 meter per second and after some time its velocity is 60 meter per second and then he was giving that time is some 10 seconds after 10 say look here very carefully a car is moving with speed 30 meter per second after 10 seconds its velocity becomes 60 meter per second then find its acceleration already formula is that a is equals to v minus u by t that means what 60 minus 30 by 10 I am ready here a is equals to 60 minus 30 by 10 then what do you get 6 minus 30 by 10 what do you get 3 meter per second square a is equals to 3 meter per second square so in this way we can find out the acceleration or uh, we have some other problems there what is that v is equals to u plus a t based on that a car is moving a car is moving with the speed of 30 meter per second a car is one problem is there a car is moving with speed of 30 meter per second and acceleration 2 meter per second square 2 meter per second square then find its velocity then find its velocity after 5 seconds problem should be like that what you are saying a car is moving with velocity 30 meter per second and acceleration 2 meter per second then find its velocity after 5 seconds after 5 seconds so then here what right we go for this formula given values are what velocity was given how much 30 meter per second acceleration given what is that 2 meter per second square and time was it was given what is that 5 seconds what you would find final velocity final velocity then what to write v is equals to u plus a t and u is 30 a is 2 and t is 5 then 30 plus 10 that is what 40 meter per second so we have problems like that so we can use so many formulas in our daily life so if you know about the any of these three we can find the other one so in next coming videos i will explain problems very clearly okay children next i am going to the second derivation second derivation of the second equation our derivation of the second equation what is that s is equals to derivation of s is equals to u d plus of a t square s is equals to d plus of a t square derivation you have to go for that children we have one formula is there what is that average velocity is equals to average velocity is equals to total distance total distance or total displacement by time taken time taken so in this case i am writing now average velocity is equals to what you have v average is equals to total distance we are taking that is s by t s by t clear we know that what is the average total by total marks by number of subjects so that's why here what you have write simply i am taking average velocity is equal to total distance by time here s is the total distance and time is the t v average is equal to s by t clear and in mathematics we have there x is one quantity and y is the another quantity another quantity then how we can write their average x is the one quantity and y is the another quantity then how we can do their average x plus y by 2 sum of the quantities by number of quantities if you can take x y z 
x plus average is what again right x plus y plus z by 3 x plus y plus z by 3 like that in our mathematics we will find the average means number of these quantities by sorry sum of the quantities by number of quantities like that here when we have x and y their average what right x plus y by 2 is their average in the same manner we can assume that the body is the body is has the body has the body has initial velocity u and final velocity v final velocity v then their average can be written as their average can be written as let u is initial velocity and v is the final velocity v is the final velocity then average what to write v average is equals to what you have to write u plus v by 2 or v plus u by 2 v plus u by 2 now this equation number 2 in this case we are writing two equations for same thing average velocity is equals to total distance by time taken this is the general definition from mathematics what write x and y are two quantities then they average x plus y by 2 like that here we are taking the v is the final velocity and u is the initial velocity then average velocity what it is u v plus u by 2 both are represented the same thing from equation 1 and 2 lhs are equal then you have to write rhs is equal to rhs that means what s by t is equals to v plus u by 2 s by t is equals to v plus u by 2 so here what is v final velocity what is u initial velocity what is the equation for final velocity this one v is equals to u plus at substitute there s by t is equals to instead of v what you have to write u plus at u plus at plus u by 2 dear children what is v u plus at that's why i'm writing u plus at plus u by 2 then what write s by t is equals to u plus u 2u 2u plus at by 2 clear s by t is equals to 2u plus at by 2 i am writing like this s by t is equals to 2u by 2 plus at by 2 2u by 2 plus at by 2 that means what to do cancel then what we get s by t is equals to u plus of at u plus of at so take t the side then what we get t is equals to i mean s is equals to t into u plus of at then multiply s is equals to u into t plus of into at into t then t into t means what t square then what do you get s is equals to u t plus of at square this is the second derivation of second der derivation of second equation this is the first derivation of first equation this is second one clear children again look here again look here average velocity is the total distance by time taken and we have formula is v average is equals to total distance what you are taken s and time is t then v average is equals to s by t equation number one then after that if u is the initial velocity and v is the final velocity then the average can be as from maths v average is equals to v plus u by 2 equation number 2 here this is the v average and this is also v average both are the same thing that's why we are these two are equal now we are equating these two s by t is equals to v plus u by 2 after that in that equation v is the final velocity already we have equation for final velocity is what v is equals to u plus at then i am substituting here s by t is equals to u plus at plus u by 2 then what do we get u plus u 2u plus at by 2 i am separating the n 2u by t plus at by 2 to do cancel then s by t is equals to u plus of at 
then here s is equals to we are taking t that side u into i mean t into u plus f of at we are multiplying this one again u into t ut plus of into at into t t into t means what t square then s is equals to ut plus of at square children these are the derivations for this class only next we have two more derivations there we will see them in the next coming video children so you must utilize this time by watching my videos because it's very pandemic situation due to the corona that's why i hope you these videos are very very useful to you because after reopening or reopening also there is no sufficient time for to explain very carefully to everyone that's why don't waste your time you must be used this time by watching and learning the subject by watching my videos children we will meet in the next video with next two derivations by children take care